I opened it. Let me just drag it over here. Here it goes. Bang, 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 bang. The people, and by the way, when people said that, yo, uh, Meg The Stallion dropped charges against Tori, it's impossible. She is not a plaintiff. She is a witness and a victim, and that's about it. Her cooperation of, or lack thereof has nothing to do with the case. Now, could it help the case? Yes, but she can't make any determination if the charges are dropped or how the outcome will be. In most cases that are domestic in nature and even some assault cases that aren't domestic, in many states, they make it where the state presses charges and not the person. Why? Because sometimes if it's a domestic violence situation, you start fucking the chick again. The chick's like, nah, fuck the charges, drop them. Then later on, the dude kills the chick and everybody blames the state because they said, yo, you let her drop the charges when y'all should have really tried to prosecute. So the, the, the charges are always with the state in situations like this. So it's the people of the state of California versus Daystar Peterson. That is, of course... Tory Lanes, and I will go through what the fuck was you know being asked for. Hold on, let me just make this okay. The honorable judge, blah, 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 da, 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 da. okay. So it's a motion, it's a motion, okay. It's a motion, and th this is Tory's lawyer who signed off on it. Basically, saying the intro, Tory's charged with. A felony complaint of committing assault um, with Meg with the use of a semi-automatic weapon, blah, blah, blah. The people's case is based almost entirely, which is interesting. The people's case is based almost entirely. Well, again, this is Tory's lawyer, so of course, you know what I mean? And by the way, who knows if they have the full discovery yet? They haven't went to trial. Who knows if all the discovery has been turned over to um, um, Tory's lawyers, maybe they're only presenting certain things in court so far, which might seem like it's only Meg, but I'm pretty sure maybe there's ballistic stuff, maybe there's other just proof, and supposedly there was eyewitnesses, but we don't hear anything about those now, because maybe those things only are going to pop up if this is going to actually go to trial, right? But at least with Tory's lawyers saying so far, hey, so far what y'all are telling us in court because we haven't seen anything else. Y'all saying basically, it's, this is some hearsay shit. And Meg said Tory shot her, shot her. And y'all are just rocking with it to have my client locked up. You were trying to, you know, restrict his movement or whatever the case is. Or do whatever that, you know, bills come with. Um, evidence provided, blah, blah, blah. Uh, prosecution. There's evidence provided to the defense by the prosecution discovery. Okay, so discovery was provided. Contains forensic and scientific reports as well as statements and independent third-party eyewitnesses which directly contradict the statements of, of Meg Thee Stallion. Whoa, that's interesting. Now, by the way, this is Tory's lawyer. We got to keep saying that, but still, you can't write to the court and just be lying blatantly, right? You know what I mean? So it says evidence that's in the discovery that contained forensic and scientific reports, as well as statements from other people that were independent third-party eyewitnesses, they don't back up Meg Thee Stallion's statement saying that Tory shot her. That's pretty self-explanatory. So basically, they're saying, other than Meg saying that Tory shot her, which again, if that's the case, let's just fast forward the shit. Meg saying that she was walking away when she got supposedly shot. And if the, the, the whole case, or not the whole case, but the majority of the case is her statement saying Tory shot her, that's going to be a direct contradiction. How you see the nigga shoot you? We'll see. Both Meg Thee Stallion and, and um, um, Tory are public figures with extensive following on social media, millions of fans, consumer music, blah, blah, blah. There's a protective order issued in November prohibiting Tory from disclosing the contents of the prosecution's evidence, prohibiting Tory's counsel from disclosing the contents of the of the 
prosecution's evidence outside the legal process. So basically, I'm guessing after he dropped his album, they went back to court. They put pretty much a gag order on Tori to say, shut the fuck up. And by the way, whatever you saw in the evidence docket that we turned over to you, you can't talk about. So Tori cannot talk about this stuff. He's trying to be able to talk about it. You know why? Because Meg recently came out accusing him of planting stuff in the media and also making up these false narratives, right? Procedural background, blah, blah. Tory can't have any contact with her. And Tory says he's not trying to have contact with her. So during the hearing, blah, blah, Tory requested clarification on a protective uh, order because of Megan Stallion's comments about the case. I'm trying to, like, interpret legal documents. It's a bunch of legal shit. Okay, and basically those tweets she sent out recently, that's what Tory's lawyer is trying to say. If this chick is saying Tory's going to jail and this and third and Tory shot her and she's tweeting it out, why can't Tory just defend himself, whether it's an, on an album or just tweeting it out or getting on live and re responding to it? Look, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Hopefully this is not... Hey, this is where people be like, yo, uh, people in the feds, look, look what the lawyer says. The inflammatory tr uh, information transmitted in Megan Stallion's tweets was quickly picked up by mainstream media publications. So there's going to be an exhibit here that shows blogs or shows mainstream. They better not got my page in this shit. They better not have my fucking page in this. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is Billboard. Okay, good. Perfect. So... Okay, great. Yeah. So th that's the tweets, Exhibit A, and Exhibit B is the platforms we picked it up. What's this? This is... Which outlet is this? Oh, this is People. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm peeing on this. So, by the way, just to educate you on the legal process, people do this all the time just to say, hey, listen, like, t Future does this all the time. When he's trying to tell his baby mom to shut the fuck up, and I'm pretty sure they have a bunch of Shade Room posts up there, like in, in his exhibits, to say, look, her shit keep getting on this platform and, like, fucking tainting my image. So, Tori using people.com, uh, billboard.com. This is billboard, I could tell. And what else? Entertainment Tonight. And what is this? Uh, Vulture. I think this is Vulture. Yep. Vulture. Okay, good. But, all right, cool. Anyway, let me just keep going. Privately, Council of, 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 of Tory did respond to members of the media who contacted her about this misinformation is it in light of M Meg Stallion's tweets and the public attention to this matter Tory asked that the court modify the protective order as it relates to him that pretty much he could talk right okay due to his limitation Mr. Peterson is unable to respond meaningful to any statements made by Meg this and third she has decided to open the merits of the case against Mr. Peterson to the public comment and shared strong opinions while through social media. Both Megan Stallion and Tory have acted blah, blah, blah. Megan Stallion insinuates that Tory's team has something to do with the media's confusion as to Tory's case, thereby maligning the integrity of both Tory and his counsel. As discussed here, the media confusion was public uh, was due to publicly available information on the Los Angeles Supreme Court's website that had nothing to do with statements by Mr. Peterson or his team. More disturbing, M Meg the Stallion's public statements, including her recent Twitter posts, state definitively that Tory shot her and that he's going to jail. There's significant evidence provided by the people to Mr. Peterson, which contradicts Meg the Stallion's statements. The evidence include, oh, okay, here we're talking about some evidence. E include evidence of gunshot residue impl implicating others. That's the cute way of saying. I ain't gonna snitch on nobody, but y'all knew y'all found some, y'all found some 
gunshot residue on some other niggas. It wasn't just me. Hold up. Okay. Holy. So basically, they're saying there was gunshot residue on other people outside of Tory. Interesting. Um, is it is mitigating, if not exculpatory, and it casts serious doubt on the claims made by Meg Thee Stallion in addition to the scientific evidence. As the people are aware, witness statements from independent witnesses who observed the alleged events um, also provide information that implicates others. As the protective order currently stands, Tory is unable to refer to any of the... Okay, let me just break this down. Basically, they're saying somebody else shot Meg. Bingo. They're saying that based on the discovery given to them by the state of California, right? The DA's office in, in the county of Los Angeles. They're saying that maybe Tory did some shit, but the evidence also points to somebody else shooting Meg. There was gunshot residue when you shoot a gun. Usually, what's like, it's like some invisible shit, but you know what I mean? Gunshot residue is usually in the vicinity, and it's usually that residue is on the person that is firing the gun. You get me? They're saying, if so if you find gunshot residue on someone else at that scene, someone else shot a gun, and how do you know that wasn't a gunshot that supposedly hit Meg? Second of all, they're saying independent witnesses. I got to uh, believe that independent witnesses means n neither, um, nobody that was probably in the car. I would have to say that because the security guard or Kelsey, are they independent witnesses? Maybe they are. But they're saying that those witnesses or, or that witness, witness is saying that it was somebody else and not Tory that actually fired the gun. Now, this could be like kind of whatever, because if if independent witness means the other people in the car, Tory had his bodyguard in the car. I'm pretty sure I would hope his bodyguard would look at look at him and be like, I'm not about to tell the cops 